Next, what we're going to see is DMX or digital motion x-ray, which we made the bones black. We made the background white. And our bones almost looked like they're outlined with black. Like, a black, like I took a black magic marker and outlined my bones. Reason is our technology blackens the cortical margin of the bodies. So in other words, we highlight. And you're going to see a couple things here. Let me freeze this. This lady came to me and says, no one can figure out what's wrong. I said, I go, I'm no rocket scientist, but I go, just, just tell me when it hurts. She goes, well, every time I bring my chin to my chest and I look up is when I feel the most pain. I said, well, go ahead and move. So right away, we can follow the George's line or backside of these bones up, and we have a stair step in here. That is a torn posterior longitudinal ligament here. We actually have an avulsion fracture here that's going to float up and down her throat. We're going to have an inner spinous ligament. These two spinuses are close. These are big. It's already ripped apart. Plus, if you look at this vertebral body that's outlined with this black magic marker, it's nice and square. We look at this vertebral body, and what happened here? It sloped down. That's an anterior wedge compression fracture. Yes, attorneys, compression fracture. This is serious, and below it's a compression fracture, deformity. So let me, you can see the floating avulsion, torn posterior. Watch these interspinous ligaments here. These two will come together in a minute. And again, do you think this is more than 0 0.06 millimeters? I mean, if everybody can see this, we have, watch these two come together, right there. See, that's we take an x-ray. That looks fine. We don't see no avulsion fracture. Everything lines up. So let me go on to point out where these ligaments are now, just to refresh your mind. Anterior longitudinal ligaments in the front of the bones, the bodies. And when they tear, they make sounds like that, and it's called a sub failure. Watch it again, it either shifts back or it rocks up. There we go, sub failure of the anterior longitudinal, so you change the disc angle. Now we did one other, th one other thing with this technology, because the lawyers always said, why can't I see my client? State Farm thinks you guys are throwing x-rays at me of someone else. So we added a picture and picture board so we digitally look at your patient on the outside. So we see Susie here and we're looking inside simultaneously. It becomes alive. Everybody loves watching movies today. We send this to the insurance adjusters, they go nuts. It scares the heck out of them and they just want to settle. So what we do is we can see Susie, her complaint was stabbing pain when she looks up towards the ceiling and if you follow this George's line up right there, bam, it comes back. That's a shift shearing backwards, tearing of the anterior longitudinal ligament. We freeze it, we add arrows, we send the tape into the insurance company, and right there is actually that disc angulation. I mean, right there, the disc is pinching in the front right there, and it's gapping in the back. That's an increased disc angle, which indicates a posterior longitudinal ligament injury too. So she has an anterior and a posterior longitudinal ligament permanently. Young girl.